If you're a CEO, you rely on reports. In fact, you probably love reports or hate reports, depending upon maybe there's good news, maybe there's bad news. But what makes a good report? Welcome to our latest CEOs in IT, a love story in the making. Today, I want to talk about reports. IT has constantly been about generating paper, printing out reports or screens or whatever in a nonstop onslaught of data, information, usefulness, whatever. But here's the thing, as CEO, I think you need to be aware of. Reports serve a very primary purpose, and that is answer questions. So when you see a report, or worse, when you want to get a report created, the first thing you should do is say, what question that is meaningful to the business does this report need to answer? That should be the driving force behind what is included in that report. If it doesn't answer a specific question that adds value, then that report is useless. If it hedges the bets, if it dances around it, if it... What receivables are outstanding? What inventory needs to be replaced? Whose birthday is next week? We have so much data and so little time to process it mentally that if the report can be made to be focused on adding a specific value. That's where reports come into play. So do your reports actually answer specific questions that add value to your organization? Because strong organizations need strong IT that's empowered to bring value throughout your organization. DM me here or email bob at simplex-it.com with your address and I'll send you my book, A CEO Survival Guide to Information Technology. And if you have internal IT folks, hey, I got a book for them too. Tell me about your reports in the comments below.